Hey guys, and welcome to the channel today. Hopefully, you guys, everybody's doing awesome today. Today, we're gonna we're still continuing to clean the, the Jeep. If you want to check out the video of us doing the dash with a different product, um, I'll have the end link at the end of the video. So we're gonna be cleaning up the leather seats on this with come on guys, leather cleaner and their conditioner. I have used it before and I just never made a video on it. So you can see, we'll check out the seats before we clean them. And we'll be using that brush. You can see, this is why you wanna always put a conditioner on see how it's just wrinkling up on them. I don't know, I think you should probably put conditioner on there, what, once a month? Or every, uh, maybe every two months? What do you guys think? You guys let me know, because I'm really not sure. I usually try to go by maybe once a month or every couple months, but I'm guilty of waiting longer. All right, so uh, let's uh, get set up here and we'll use the cleaner first, right here. Make sure we shake it up. Gotta fix this nozzle. It's kind of messed up. All right, it's on. So we're gonna shake it up. And then what you can do, we can use a microfiber towel. And we're gonna use a nice brush right here. Like a, it's not real hard. It's almost like a, um, I don't know, I would say a bore maybe. Something like that right here. They're not that expensive. So we're gonna get use this to get in here. So you do it a couple ways. We can use the towel to wipe the cleaner in and the brush. So basically we're gonna spray it down. Pretty good. Or you can even if you want, spray the product on the, the seat. Sometimes I do that too. To really get it in there, we're just gonna work it in. You know, I have good, pretty good results with the Chemical Guys Cleaner. But, you know, a little bit goes a long way. You can see, pretty much have, let me get that out of the way. Sorry about that. You can see where it is. Just a lot goes a long way here. I just keep rubbing it in. Make sure we get up here. I might have to go over it a couple times, but yeah. You can see, got a little bit of dirt in there, not much. I did these seats a couple months ago. She didn't, she shouldn't be too bad. Just a little light dirt on there. All right. And then on the brush, you know, if you want to spray some on the brush, make sure we clean the brush too when we're done. And spray the product. Now, do you guys, how do you guys clean your leather seats? You guys spray it on, on the seats, um, on your cloth, on your brush, and kind of get it in there. Hey, let us know. You can uh, learn from each other back and forth try not to push too hard I don't want to I don't want to damage the leather and then let's wipe it off oops look at that this is the seat's a lot dirtier than uh Then your back rest. Look at that. See that? Look at that. Come on, guys, working pretty good. So I'm gonna go over this a couple of times. Give it a couple more like squirts. Let's try to flip this around one hand. There we go. Let me move you guys. There we go. Check it out. The seat's gonna have to really get some scrubbing in. A little bit better. it up try to maintain that leather leather looks good when it's clean also it's got a nice smell to it when it's clean see that we're getting a lot better we'll just keep going to get it clean because we want it clean as possible before we actually put a conditioner on it more time on the clean side of the towel might have to I'm gonna probably go through a couple of towels that's for sure it's all right yep, it's getting better cool all right we'll get a 
not going to film the whole process of doing all the seats and make a long video. You can see the results right here. It's flashed. They look nice and clean. We'll let that flash. I got to do the back side of the seat, do the other passenger seat, and we'll keep on going. Maybe I'll put you guys in time lapse. Hey guys and gals, we are done cleaning. For right now, it came out pretty decent. There we go. They look nice and clean. A couple spots. They look good. So now we're going to be applying the leather conditioner. It's got vitamin E cream in it. That's what it says. This is dry to the top, touch, natural leather scent. And then basically, on the direction, shake well, wipe or sponge on. Allow to penetrate. Wipe dry if desired. Reapply as needed. And then it says right here it protects and restores your leather back to original condition. Taking care of your leather is like taking care of your skin. That's what it says. The natural vitamin E formula nourishes your leather to restore the soft feel by provide, providing protection. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe put it on your skin, but I mean, eat. And then you'll get some sun protection. No, don't do that. I'm just joking. <laughs> and then play, this does um, provide UV protection with the leather scents. So basically, we're just going to wipe it in with our uh, microfiber towel. Got designated from right here for interior. And I think, I think this is the one I usually get. I usually get uh, uh, free from Harbor Freight. I kind of use them for interior. Helps out. Just shake it up real good. And basically pour it in here. Yeah, it does have a this does smell just like a nice leather. It really does. Spread it on there. If you get a lot on there, oh well, you're gonna be spreading it anyway. You want it to soak in there too, especially if the leather's dry. You want to get it in there. Help protect these cracks. And this leather conditioner, come on guys, this is pretty thick. What do you guys think? Anyone of you guys used it? Let us know. Got any other uh, tips on using this product? Hey, let us know. Let's see, check that out. And it, will, it will dry a little bit. I'm going to let it blend it in there. And then I'll use another Microsoft towel to, to um, wipe off, buff it in. The red access. Yeah, this is pretty creamy too. And if you want to put two coats on it, you can, once everything kind of flashes, do the whole vehicle and then come back if you like and add another coat. The only thing, man, about chemical guys, these bottles, even when they're wax bottles, they suck. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? I hate them. You know? It's like. They're just real hard to work with to get the product out, especially the wax. What do you guys think? I think the chemical guys need to start improving their bottles, man. You know, this is... I like the other style where... Where it's more round, rounded. It's easy. The product's easier to come out. Something like... Uh, something like Shiny's bottles. They have that round. They come out. The product just comes out nice. You know, especially if you're on a wax, you don't want to fight it. You got time to fight stuff, product coming out. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, we'll continue to go. And we'll look at the final results. There you go. It's flashing a little bit. I might not even buff it off. I might just leave it like that and let it flash. And uh, have a nice layer on there. What do you guys think? So I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, well, let's go to time lapse. Okay, we're all done using the Chemical Guys leather cleaner and their conditioner. Check it out. What do you guys think?
look pretty good or did I do a hack job <laughs> looks pretty good there you go yeah the stuff works pretty good guys it smells good I really uh like the come with guys leather conditioner uh, if you guys used it let me know if you guys like it or if you don't like it and what other products you have used on leather um yeah let's know if any got any tips and chick tricks to uh keep the leather clean or how do you clean them and that so i really appreciate it guys so another hopefully a fast video and uh trying out these products so don't forget to guys you know comment below come on or if you even have a video on it using something like this post it below you know why not well uh, check it out um so you guys have a great day and i appreciate you guys watching this without you guys the channel means nothing later